Okay, full disclosure. Yes, Huawei did announce the Ascend Mate 7 at IFA in Berlin, but at the end of the actual event, they also, to our surprise, gave everyone one, and yours truly was not off that list. So I'm here right now. I wanted to give a little bit of time uh, before I did this particular video because you just saw our first look, but I figure it's time now to take a look at it. So it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is your unboxing and initial setup, at least for the fingerprint scanner, which is one of our favorite features of this phone of the Huawei. Ascend Mate 7. All right, and here we are with the Huawei Ascend Mate 7. This is the brand new phone by them, and we're just going to go ahead and jump in. Um, I do have an open box right here, but I haven't taken the plastic off of everything. And there it is, that glorious six-inch screen. This just might be one of the largest phones that we've ever had the pleasure of using, but I'm really excited to be able to use it. Uh, and there you go. You have the metal construction. Very nice slab right here on the front, and it is basically all screen. Uh, we've already seen quite a bit of footage and also had a lot of hands-on time with this phone. But I'm going to go ahead and put that aside just for a second. We do have the SIM tool that is right here along with the manuals that are underneath. Actually, there are none in this particular case right now. <laughs> I remember now. So we have that. We also have underneath here the accessories, the micro USB charging cable, some headphones, and of course the plug adapter. We're gonna go ahead and just jump into those right now. Here's our plug adapter. We have the micro, oh, here's the headphones right here. They seem pretty standard, um, not necessarily the high quality ones that you would expect uh, to have to use with a phone like this, but these are the standard ones that come with it. And then finally, of course, a nice long micro USB charging cable. And from there, it looks like that's pretty much everything we have. Uh, if you look under here, there's nothing over there, and that should pretty much do it. Now, like it states in the description below, we are looking not just at the unboxing, but also we're going to do a initial setup on here. And what I mean by initial setup is I'm going to pretty much go through the, uh, the, the first screens, but also do a fingerprint uh, registration. So we're going to go ahead and just turn on the device. First of all, we'll take a quick look around the device itself. Like I said, we have this wonderful metal construction. As you can see over here, it just looks really nice and it's a very attractive phone. The metal, the uh, fingerprint scanner rather, is right there below the camera. We have a fairly thin device all around, but it is a six inch screen. So we do have a lot of real estate on here and it's not gonna be the easiest phone to use in one hand. But as I hold the power button down, we're gonna get our first prompt. And here we go. Fingerprint ID right here in the settings and let's see what we got here. We'll do a pin, something generic. All right, go ahead and roll. Please place your finger on the fingerprint scanner. Once you feel a slight vibration, lift and press your finger again. So here we go. And there's the vibration. There's the vibration. It's gonna keep going for a while. This particular screen looks a little bit familiar. I'm not going to lie, but that's okay because the fingerprint scanner is a pretty stellar feature on the Ascendmate 7. There you go, the fingerprint scanner can be used to access the safe, access app locks, or just unlock the screen from any which place. So here we are, we're gonna head back here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the phone and I will just rest my finger right there, put my finger on there and it turns right on. It's a great feature on the Ascend Mate 7. One of the best implementations of a fingerprint scanner that I think we've ever seen. You know, I really don't think that's ever going to get old. But that was the unboxing and initial setup, at least in the case of the fingerprint scanner of the Huawei Ascend Mate 7. Now, as far as my first impressions of the phone go, yes, this is a large display. And yes, that makes for a large phone. But my impressions are still pretty much the same as they were in the uh, first impressions, first look that I had at IFA in Berlin 2014. The construction of this phone is actually quite great. And it really shows that Huawei has really been uh, stepping their game up in terms of just how 
great their devices not only look on the outside and inside, but also in terms of their features. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage, including my soon to be review of the Huawei Ascend Mate 7. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this phone and its fingerprint scanner, the Emotion UI, and a lot of its features, especially that very large battery underneath that should give it a lot of longevity and to be able to make this phone go the distance for a long time. So uh, keep it tuned here. And of course we have the Ascend Mate 7 along with other videos. You can see our first look right over on the side. And remember to keep it tuned here to drop us some likes and to subscribe if you haven't already because we are your source for all things Android.